Uh, well, this is part of our process as we sit here right now. I mean, we're in last place, so we need to do something. And we need, uh, Sonny was a great player for us, but at this point we need a lot of, of great players. And uh, I think we're, there's a talent a deficit that we that exists right now, and the way to acquire multiple good players is to trade some of the good players you currently have. And as I said, this, you know, I think we were pretty clear about the direction we were going to go in the last couple of weeks, and we need to be younger, and uh, hopefully the next cycle uh, is one that uh, we maintain these players, and I think that's the goal here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know that you can put a timetable. Sometimes it comes quicker than you like. I, I, I will say this, the acquisitions here were meant for the long term, which is why, you know, have we been in a different spot in our development? We might not have considered somebody like uh, Caprillion or, 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 you know, because of the Tommy John surgery. So I think that was really us saying, listen, we know this is going to take time. Let's take the best talent available and we're willing to wait. Mm -hmm. But in some sense, we sort of viewed it as an opportunity. Uh, you know, as long as we felt good about their, their prognosis, uh, we viewed it as an opportunity. Because I can certainly tell you that, that it would have been very hard to acquire all three of these guys had that not been the case. So we, at that point, we had to sort of calculate when we felt like they were necessary for us uh, in terms of being ready and uh, when they would be ready. Well.